Hi everyone, this is Donald Repentless. A couple of months ago, I put up, and in February, I put up a video called Fuck You, Pastor Kevin Matthews. And I still say, Fuck You, Kevin Matthews. The reason why I'm bringing the subject up again is because I, there's a couple of reasons. First, I um, wanted to find out if there's any kind of update to the situation, so I typed in Pastor Kevin Matthews. And when I in you know anyways, and the third link that came up in the search was my video called "fuck you know fuck you Kevin Matthews" and I was just like wow that's that's, that's kind of neat. But anyways, there hasn't been any kind of update on this because you know I'm afraid it's going to be one of those stories where they highlight it at the very beginning and then they don't ever tell you what happens because I'm very curious about the situation because I do consider Kevin Matthews, this pastor, this preacher, to be a complete scumbag douchebag. And I, you know, like I said in the video first time and this time, fuck you, you should leave this poor woman alone. Well, she's not poor now. I mean, she won the lottery after all. But, you know, I found out afterwards that she has four kids and one of those has a I can't remember what the disease is, but it's not a very good disease. So I would imagine that this woman, with all the health care for her child, was probably in debt before she won the lottery and was probably able to get out of debt because of the lottery winnings. But to have this douchebag suing her for money so he can build his pet project, like I said in the first one, you know, it's, it's just obscene to me. I mean, he's a preacher. He has a congregation. Doesn't he pull in enough fucking money from his poor gullible um, parishioners or whatever? No, it's not right. I mean, think about it this way. If she had given him the $1.5 the $1 million and he bought this land and he built this uh, center there, that only puts more money in his pocket. I mean, because we go, okay, first off, the land would be tax exempt because it would be a church related thing. Second of all, second of all, he can get money from the interest on this and even get a loan on this or some kind of mortgage on this and bring in more money, putting more money into his pocket and into his church's pocket. You know, he already has one property where he has a building, his church building. And this, of course, taxes them and you can get interest and whatever, you know, some kind of income from the um, equity of his land, you know. And here he is going after this woman who is the mother of four children for money because her changing her mind caused him mental distress. Now, fuck you and your mental distress. Don't you get enough money from the tithes or whatever and the contributions of your members? If you really wanted to, see, let's, let's by the way, he's a preacher, so he expects people to just hand him money. That's how we treat religion. Is people, you know, these people can go out there and expect him to hand them money. When most of us, I mean, like if you're fine, let's say we wanted to build a house we would have to go to a bank and get a loan to buy the money, you know, to, get, to buy the land and possibly another loan so we can build the house. Not, not Matthews, no, 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 no. I want this retreat center, give me money. It's ridiculous. And like I said, going after this woman, even though she did, even if she is quote, 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 unquote, quote, rich, even if she did win this lottery, pressuring her to, to promise you this money in the first place is wrong, and then suing her because she didn't want to give you this money, because she might, I, I don't know her, I've never met this woman, she could have thought that your whole fucking project was a complete waste of time and resources, and so she didn't give you this money. She started her own charity. That's good. That's good for her, you know. And 
this guy is like his retreats are such a important thing. He prayed about it. He God told him to build this thing. Fuck off. <laughs> it's a vanity project only. Oh, even going back to the to the um, income part of it, he can he can rent out this space to other organizations. He can leave, you know, like I said, it wouldn't be just his little congregation using this thing. He would rent it out to civic organizations, other churches, other entities, and reap in that money tax free to pay himself a larger salary to provide only what sermons. Trying to tell people what, how they should think, how they should live their lives? No, it's ridiculous. So again, and so again, I say, fuck you, Pastor Kevin Matthews. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, like it, share it on social media, subscribe to my channel for more of this kind of thing. My name is Donald the Repentless, and I'm signing off.